Let's talk about how to sell real estate successfully today. I'm Scott. And I'm Lane. Welcome to another episode of Orange County Real Estate Beats. We love bringing you relevant topics each and every week. And today we're going to be talking about how to sell real estate. Absolutely, Lane. Let's get started. All right. Well, I like looking at this football analogy. Of course you do. I know. I know. If you're the homeowner, think of yourself as the owner of the football team. All right. Okay. Well, I'd like to use a skating analogy, but I think more people, more people will relate to football, and so if, let's go. And if you want to try the skating analogy, let's jump in. All right. But what's one of the first things a football owner needs to do? They need to hire a coach. Exactly. Same in figure skating. You've got to have that coach that's going to have a plan laid out to how to help each skater succeed. And they know what they're looking for to build that team, okay? So that's the first thing that I... I recommend for you as a homeowner when it goes to selling real estate is look at the real estate agent, the listing agent, your professional as the coach. I think that's absolutely right. And you know what? We were going to fast forward and go right into having the playbook. But I realized once you hire the coach, before you even get to the plays, there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done. Now, you can interview a bunch of coaches before you hire one, which is a lot of owners do. And they discuss their ideas for that particular playbook. And you have an idea in mind of what you want to do and what kind of playbook would make sense for you. And then that's the coach that you're going to hire. Now, once you hire that coach, you're going to be talking about like that playbook and what some of the personnel or the pieces you need to fill that in. So that's basically like your assistant coaches and your team. Correct. I think everyone, every situation is going to be different. Of course, at the end of the day, just like in football, everybody wants to win. And if selling a home is your goal, then you're going to want to sell that home for the most amount of money with the least amount of hassle and the shortest amount of time. Now, you think about the team that you're hiring as maybe like the stager, the photographer, the videographer. Does the coach have a marketing coordinator that's helping them with the digital advertising for the particular home? There are about four pages, single space checklist items that we do in our playbook mm -hmm. that like you make sure that you need to have the right personnel surrounding you. And, you know, that's why you're hiring the coach because they have that vision and you like their playbook and they're going to show you how to execute that particular playbook. And absolutely. And I think just like in football or even let's say figure skating, when you hire that coach, you want to hire the coach that has championship games under their belts. In skating, you want to hire that coach that has other champions that they have succeeded with over the years so that you're not guessing. You're going with tried and true experienced people that have not done it who have done it many, many times before, and this isn't their first rodeo. That's exactly right. But don't be discouraged by age, first of all, because I will say the uh, Rams coach won the 2022 Super Bowl. Okay, and he was the youngest to ever do it at 36 years old, but he's been affiliated with it for a very long time. Um, so that's, uh, well, I, I, just okay. I just do a plug. I just do a plug. You do a plug for that, but okay, but I'll do a plug for myself. Sure. So that Rams coach has been affiliated in a long line of mentorships, mentors, people that are a little bit more senior, have tons of experience under their belts. <laughs> there you so go. They create kind of a winning team <laughs> within the team, if there's, you will. Yeah, so there, <laughs> there's. Uh, there's no really wrong way to do it. Just make sure that you you align yourself with somebody that has a good vision. We don't have to use the football analogy no, anymore, but no. the first step obviously is to hire a real estate agent and somebody that has the same vision as you or some, or at least can get on the same page and you like the direction that they're going to take your house to so bring in a bunch of traffic and a bunch of traffic will lead to multiple offers. Multiple offers will lead to a really good price. The best price will lead to the highest net for you yeah. um, and make sure that they have a really good team behind themselves to be able to support that vision. Absolutely. And as you're hiring that coach, here's a tip a tip for you out there. Be the one kind of controlling the conversation, if at all possible. If the coach is, the potential coach, the realtor is asking you a lot of questions, finding out what makes you tick, what your goals are, what you want to accomplish, that's a great sign. And make sure you articulate what that is that's important to you. Because a lot of agents, as salespeople, they love to talk. They're going to be going over all their accolades, how wonderful they are. But if it's not the right fit, it doesn't really matter how wonderful they are. Yeah, and if it takes your home a month to prepare for sale, it takes a couple weeks to hopefully not, uh, to be on the market, and then maybe another month to, uh, for escrow, you look, you're working with this particular individual for several months, yeah. right? So you want to make sure that you can stand working with them for a few months and you guys are on the same page and enjoy each other's company because it's a working relationship. Yeah. As you hire this coach, Tulane, you said something to me a long time ago when you first joined our team, and that is, this is not a one-night stand. It's like a marriage. So again, when you're choosing that realtor, that coach, make sure it's someone that you feel that you're going to be able to have a long relationship with because that's exactly what it's going to be. And that's what makes something successful is the give and take of a relationship that can stand the test of time, stand some ups and downs because there definitely are going to be ups and downs during the course of a transaction. That's right. So let's recap. How to sell real estate, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, hire, first step, hire a real estate professional. Inter well, I guess the zero step. Step zero. zero. Let's go down to ground zero. Step, step zero, interview. 
Interview first. Interview your agents. Talk, see what see what vision you like the best and what playbook you like the best. Then hire that real estate professional and get and have that real estate professional get to work executing yeah. the same thing, keeping you informed, making sure you're happy, making sure you guys are all on the same page. But get to work on this. Absolutely. Stuff. And I think too to stay on that same page is number one, be try to be very clear with your intentions, your goals of what you want. And then those should align with the playbook that the real estate agent lays out for you. And they may have other things that you'll add to your goals and intentions you didn't even know existed. A good realtor can read between the lines and figure out other ways to enhance what your end wishes and dreams are. That's exactly right. Because everybody wants something different. Somebody w would prefer a quick sale and will be okay with selling it a little bit less. Yeah, yeah. Somebody doesn't care about the quick sale and they're like, I'll take as long as you need, I need to net the most of the money that yeah. I can. So make sure that everybody's on the same page and, and then execute that particular playbook. Absolutely. All right, well, hopefully you found value there. Uh, my name is Lane again. I'm Scott. Every week we bring you the Orange County Real Estate Beat. Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.